Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs 12 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share Proverbs 12 verses 8 to 14. Here's the word of God. A man is commended according to his good sense, but one of twisted mind is despised. Better to be lowly and have a servant than to play the great man and lack bread. Whoever is righteous has regard for the life of his beast, but the mercy of the wicked is cruel. Whoever works his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows worthless pursuits lacks sense. Whoever is wicked covets, covets the spoils of evildoer, but the root of the righteous bears fruit. An evil man is ensnared by the transgression of his lips, but the righteous escapes from trouble. From the fruit of his mouth a man is satisfied with good, and the work of a man's hand comes back to him. Proverbs 12, 8-14 Here's my poem. Results of working hard. When a man is patiently diligent at working hard, he will have a bounty of blessings and plenty of bread. He will not be discouraged by any trouble that comes his way, for he has good sense to know that it will, be, it will build his character. The lazy, on the other hand, will have nothing to reap, for he has not worked hard and cannot expect results from it. Here's my commentary. In our world today, entitlement is prevalent. We have become so used to getting things the easy way. When someone has given everything to him on a silver platter, there is no reason for that person to work hard. He just waits for others to give it to him and do not understand the importance of work. Paul talks in 2 Thessalonians 3 that if anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. They were commanded and encouraged in the Lord Jesus Christ to do their work quietly and to earn their own living. Imagine a world of no work. Reflection. Why is working hard a very important, valuable concept in life? Well, if we go back to Genesis 3, uh, the time that uh, Adam and Eve ate the fruit, that is forbidden from, of the tree that is forbidden for, for them to eat. One of the consequences of this uh, sin is that Adam will now begin to work. Uh, before the, the fall of man, they just went walking around in the garden and getting everything that they needed there. But when they have disobeyed God, one of the consequences is from now on, Adam will have to toil and work. So <clears throat> for us to be able to understand the ethics of work is because of the consequence of sin. We cannot just be entitled because that entitlement would have been during uh, the pre-fall of man. So when we are entitled or when we think that we don't have to do work and yet expect to eat or expect to have a bounty that is that's not going to happen because now we know that we have a sinful nature and I think that God has made Adam and all human beings to start to work so that they will not fall into deeper sin. So when we don't work, we get sluggish, we get lazy, and we get entitled, and uh, we are not giving a contribution to our, our community, to our world. So it's important for us to recognize the concept, the valuable concept of working uh, as we live in this life. Uh, well there is a psalm that talks about, I can't remember which part of the psalm that talks about, there is no uh, more work in heaven. When we go to heaven, our only, uh, the only thing we will do is to worship the Lord. There is no more work. So we, we must be able to enjoy the ability to 
work when we can in this world because without work we won't be reaping any fruits. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos. Give you the word of God. If you haven't already, check over 3,000 videos I've done over the years I've been doing this daily. Just type on YouTube or Google search Ilma's Palm Devotional. Have a wonderful day.